Hello, this will be a quick video today because in classic millennial, gen z, whatever I am style, I saw something online about why basil plants, basil plants, however you say it, are really hard to grow and maintain and loads of people get them from the supermarket, you can buy them in these pots and often we find that they just begin to die, don't last very long and I was watching a video online that explained why. So. This video said that often when you buy a big bushy plant like this, often instead of getting one plant, you're getting four, five, six, seven plants in one. And when you take it out, and I will attempt to show you carefully now, you can see that a lot of it is actually like a massive root ball. And often that means that there's not enough space in the pot that it comes in, it's too small. But also you can break this up kind of into the original plant spread them out over more pots, give them more space, more nutrients, more everything, and they should last longer and hopefully grow. Uh, I tried to grow basil that we got in the shops, in the garden, and it totally failed and all died. So today I'm gonna be splitting this one that we got in the supermarket up, putting it into way more pots, got them all lined up, uh, and hopefully this will make it last longer. Uh, I'll show you how you do that. It looks quite severe, you kind of rip it apart, but hopefully we will have more basil, basil uh, for longer. Now we're going to take the plant and split it up into different sections. I'm going to do four plants from this one. Hopefully that's enough. Um, I just don't want to have loads of basil growing everywhere. And what you need to do is you, it's so severe, but you just need to rip it apart like that. Rip it apart. Ah, and that's it in half. And then you need to sort of just find a natural way pull the rest of it. I'm filming this at a really odd angle, sorry. This is the tree onions, I'm outside. So in here you can see there's lots of individual plants and we just want to roughly find half. And there might be some like this one, looking a bit worse for wear. So that one, goodbye, that's coming out and disappearing. Again, this one has nothing coming off it. Goodbye. So you end up getting left with some really good ones and some of it is just all roots that has you know you can just see how bad quality that is there's nothing living from that so we can keep that put it in a pot uh, but what we want to do is i think there's two sort of really prominent plants there we're going to split those off as carefully as possible and create two new plants there we go now to fill up my new pots with compost and put these in. Here we have it, four basil basil plants from the one that we bought in the supermarket and look, they just look like they have so much room. You can see that there is still a few plants in each, but actually this just gives them so much room to move around and grow. So a couple of these in the kitchen, maybe a couple in the living room, we'll spread them out and um, hopefully that helps. Make sure you now give these a thorough water to settle them all in because that was quite traumatic and they will be good to go. Hopefully that's given you a few tips on how to look after basil or basil, still don't know how I'm supposed to say it, uh, and I'll keep you updated on the progress.